The Caliph of Baghdad was very fond of hunting. Once he went in the jungle with his friends and bodyguards for hunting. There he saw a beautiful deer. He went after it. While chasing the deer, he left his friends and bodyguards far behind. The caliph tried his best to chase the deer, but in vain. Soon he became very tired. So he decided to take rest under the shade of a tree. When he went near a shady tree, he saw that a boy was already sitting under that tree. The boy was sitting in an unmannerly way. And he did not move from his place. Even when he saw the caliph, the caliph was very angry at the ill-mannered boy. He said, Don't you know who I am? I have no need to know who you are, replied the boy rudely. The boy's attitude angered the caliph. He shouted in anger. You did not show your respect towards me. Why? Did you greet me before talking? Then why should I show my respect to you? Replied the boy rudely again. I have never seen such an ill-mannered boy in my life. Said the caliph. And I have never seen anyone as arrogant as you, said the boy. Stop chattering, scolded the caliph. Instead of advising me, why don't you do the same, said the boy. You will not listen to me like this. I must teach you a lesson. Let my men come, and then I'll show you how to respect elders. The caliph murmured to himself. Thereafter, both sat down, staring fearlessly at each other. After some time, the caliph's attendants appeared searching for him. His chief bodyguard said, My lord, where have you been? We have been looking for you everywhere. Yes, I came ahead. But you arrest this rude boy. I want to return immediately. I don't want to go for hunting anymore today said the caliph. Then he mounted on his horse and rode away from there. His bodyguards captivated the boy and followed the caliph. Back in the palace, the soldiers presented the boy before the caliph. The boy stood steadily in the court. Once again, he did not show any respect to the caliph. Looking at the boy's boldness, one of the bodyguards said, Hey, bow your head and wish the caliph. Shut up, you flatterer, said the boy. The caliph aroused in anger said, Boy! Your impoliteness is asking for trouble. You are inviting your death. If fate has death for me today, then nobody can change it. And if it is not, 
Nobody could harm me, replied the boy. How dare you talk to the caliph like this? Don't you know how great he is? said a bodyguard. Everyone is equal before God, replied the boy immediately. The caliph was irritated by the boy's stubbornness. He shouted and said, Executioner! Behead this ill-mannered boy! According to the rule, the executioner asked the caliph three times, Your Majesty, may I behead this boy? When the caliph gave his permission for the third time, the executioner raised his sword to kill the boy. But the boy began to laugh very loudly. Everyone was amazed to see the boy laughing. The caliph asked the boy, Why are you laughing, boy? Aren't you afraid of death? Death is in front of you and you are laughing. The boy replied, It's nothing. I just remembered a story in which a little bird escapes her death from the grip of a huge bird. Maybe I too might escape death or may die here. Let me too hear the story, said the caliph. The story is, once a hawk caught a little bird in his paws. As he was about to eat the bird, the bird said, Dear hawk, you are very huge and strong, but I am very unhappy. Yes, you must be, as you are going to die, said the hawk. No, not for my death, but with the thought that I am too small to curb your hunger. My flesh will stick to your teeth only, said the bird. The hawk was highly influenced by the little bird's statement. So he let her go. And the bird flew away happily. I am glad that the hawk was very liberal. The caliph realized the motive behind the boy's story. He too wanted to be as liberal as the hawk. He said, Leave the boy, and give him as much wealth as he asks for. Now, the boy bowed his head, and wished the caliph, Caliph, God will give you a long life. And he left the palace with the wealth.